So the Hayes Jocelyn Chase is next, and this is three miles and three furlongs, early season grade one. And the top one is acquitted Paul Rhodes, Ashton Gems, Follis, Mara Kilogram, Cutterbuck, Battle for Sparta, Joshua Sutherland, Chief Orlando, Carla Agante, Greensbank Park, Ghost Zapper, Imperium Romanum, Schlagito, It Marbo, Darren Thompson, Mighty Div, Alex Cherry, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Passive Future, Daniel French, Talk Leon, Derek Hinton, Windy Miller, Kevin Meadhan, Gospels, Leon Van Rensburg, Made of Honor, Martin Lidham, Phantasmagorica, Obi Wan, and Walker White, Molly at Surfer. Get ready for some fun. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love this meeting. This is the fourth season I've done this. As I come down to the second, which is really the first, because the first fence is invisible. This is the fourth season I've done this Hayes Jocelyn Chase and <laughs> invisible fence at the beginning. The first season it just sort of like threw me into hysterics. Now I remember it and it's. Um, <laughs> Sure, it catches a few people out, but um, they're over the third, which is really the second, and the fourth will really be the third, and Wednesday might be Tuesday, but we do have Monday races on Sunday, and Tuesday races on Monday, and Wednesday races on Tuesday, so it's, hey, the wacky world of SO6, it's great, Stu should come and do this meeting next season, I think we'll um, make a commentator's decision that Stu will cover this meeting next year, because... Um, <laughs> I think he would find it pretty much fantastic, but it's good with the um, all the French stuff that goes with it. Plenty of wine flowing, as you can probably tell, as they take the fourth, third, or fifth, or whatever it is, and they're all over that one. Okay, and Greensbank Park is the leader from Imperium Romanum in second, and then Chief Orlando and acquitted Barracilla, and Talk Leon is the grey that heads the main body of the field, and Maid of Honour in the orange is the back marker as they skip over number five we're going to call it number five but it's really the fourth fence they've jumped because the first one didn't exist but maybe it did anyway Chris back park is the leader i wonder if anything's ever fallen at the invisible fence that would be uh, interesting so they take the next one i wasn't around for the early seasons of so6 so the last four seasons i've done this race and nothing's ever fallen at the invisible fence so I don't know whether anything did before or anything will in the future, but um, we'll see. And as they swing left-handed, then they've got a complete circuit of oil toys. They've got two complete circuits of oil toys again, to be honest. And Green's Back Park is the leader. From Imperium Romanum in second, Barracilla is third, Acquitted is four, and Chief Orlando is five. Then comes Talk Leon and Walker White. Rain is coming down, so it's raining in France. And you can see as they jump over number seven there, and good big jumps. The Eiffel Tower in the background, and skip over the next. And Greenbelt Park continues to lead from a Barracilla in second, and then Chief Orlando. Marnham close up as well as they take the next one. You can see these are entry style fences here. I think they can't take quite as much jumping as the ones in Liverpool, but Greensback Park continues to lead then from Chief Orlando second. Imperium Romanum is third. And then Barracilla four. Talk Leon is next and then Walker White. Gospels and Ashton acquitted is pretty wide on the track. Passive Future's got a nice run, run on the inside rail, but the strange thing about this course is the, the rail isn't actually the inside. The ones on the rail are going longer, are going a longer way round than the ones that are wide on the track. So it's all a bit strange. And I think Napoleon Gray's being pulled up there, so a defeat for Napoleon in France. That's an interesting one. And Chief Orlando has taken it up then there from Greensbank Park in second skip over the 11th and Greensbank Park and Chief Orlando dispute the lead with Barrakilla just tucked in behind then comes Ashton who's getting close that one's been around for a season or two hasn't it and then comes Acquitted and Mighty Dev and Gospels and Talk Leon Imperium Romanum as they skip over the 12th and Maid of Honor's being pulled up now so the commentators are obviously sort of the yeah, horses are doing the same as the commentators they're enjoying the uh, hospitality too much and the 
the wine and the cheese and the pate and the crusty bread and the cognac and just a lot giving up halfway around and going home. So it's Chris Bank Park in the lead from Chief Orlando second. Anybody who doesn't know the two horses have been pulled up, Maid of Honor and Napoleon Gray are the two horses that are trained by Stu Gray, my fellow commentator, and myself. Doug Warren quite sensibly hasn't bothered entering anything in this and he's just sat in a champagne bar on the um, on the fancy champagne and the old plate of oysters as is his want. As I skip over number 13 then, and all over that one with Phantasmagorica now the back marker. And Greensbank Park, the leader, number 14, comes up pretty quick and looks like Phantasmagorica is being pulled up now, so the flat handicapper can come and join us in the champagne bar with Doug and we can all have a chat about handicapping and such like as they skip over the next and battle for Sparta has now got a few lengths clear of Greensbank Park in second. Ashton is third, Barra Killer is fourth and then Chief Orlando and Talk Leon in now into the final five furlongs and battle for Sparta he's in the lead but Greensbank Park has been in the first two all the way around Barrakill has never been far from the lead either and those two don't appear to want to give up just yet Ashton is getting into the argument as well Chief Orlando and Gospels is now making some significant progress as they come to the 16th, that's the third from home, and it's Greensbank Park, Barrakilla, Ashton, Gospels is after that one, and Chief Orlando and Talk Leon trying to run on his acquitted, but I've got a feeling it's between these front three now, and Greensbank Park, Barrakilla and Ashton into the final two furlongs. Over the second last they go, and Greensbank Park landed in the lead from Barrakilla second, Ashton is third, Chief Orlando trying to stick on in fourth, Gospels didn't find a lot back in fifth, and as they race towards the final flight now, and it looks like Greensbank Park. Park has opened up a lead and has set his sail for home now. Greensbank Park skips over the last. And Greensbank Park with less than half a furlong to go. He's going to coast up towards the line with a pretty comfortable win. And this field has finished well strong out here. And Greensbank Park takes it. Good win from Barrakilla in second. Ashton is third. Gospel is fourth. Battle for Sparta was fifth. And Nick Marbo. And Passive Future was the last to finish. So Greensbank Park for Ghost Zapper. Good big winner there for him, Barrakilla. Second for Graham Clunter. Well, that ran a big race and should be going up in the weights now, I would think. Ashton is third for James Follis. Gospels for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Battle for Sparta, Joshua Sutherland was fifth.